Hello guys, this is Zar. Unlike most of my videos, today we are going to do a quick tutorial on how to make a wheel, or even a ball, in patterns. And um, take a look. Uh, we're going to use this shape here. Um, it's the one with uh, four corners in the bottom, not three. You can make this yourself, you can find it different places, but you can create it. And uh, we're not going to cover exactly how you create shapes in this tutorial. Now. Uh, as you get this far, there's one thing that could be practical, which is namely that you make a support for it. And the reason why, I'll show you, these will at least help keep it in place a little bit. Uh, it's not necessary, but it can be practical. Um, the reason why is that as you build, actually it's one more thing that can be practical, is to have something to stand on here. Just a little work area uh, because it reacts to various things like uh, you pushing it around uh, but also so I don't want to be standing on top of it because that will add my weight to it um, as I complete this in a balanced manner um, in most cases this will break as I as I put the final one in and it will just become a a wheel and you can't really build anything more on it. However, because I have these supports here now and I'm not running around on it, it didn't happen. Usually it will break, it will get a little, little glitch here and it will become a movable object. All of a sudden then you can't build anything more on it. Um, that wasn't the case this time. No. So, if I didn't do that, this would now be a movable object. We could remove this and we could start pushing it around. Um, but we want to do something else. We want to make it a full ball, so to say. And you just do that like this. These are not that sensitive to it. Although we can see when things start to become stressed, like in any, like you, if anyone played Bridge Builder, those kind of games, you can start, you can see it starts to become yellow, these uh, markings around here, and then red, and then break. Or this loosen. So, we're almost done. Uh, and this, and eventually this. All right, and it didn't break, not even now, because we did it in the um, order that we did. Now, of course, as you can see, this is still a still object; it can't move. However, if I do this, oh, move that one, and then under there. And now it became loose. So now we can start moving it around. Let's see. And we have a ball. Oh. Let's push it off the cliff. And boom. Alright, and one nice thing about patterns is that once things goes off cliffs, you get the resources back. As you can see, I got 150 of those back. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you'd like to. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.